take your phones or your device because you can follow those in video, in play highlights just after they've happened. Maybe an England wicket, maybe hope not, or maybe a big six in the first session of the day. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to get my phone out now and look at you on iPlayer because talking of Liam Brody, you're going to be speaking to someone that knows him rather well. So uh, over to you and I'm, I'm watching. I'm going to enjoy this. Well, we certainly will, Mike. Can I just ask you one thing, Mike? One word for Liam Brody's performance yes, yesterday. Sir. One word. Give me one word. Sizzling. Sizzling, there we go. Perfect. We'll go with sizzling. Like that Perfect. word. Perfect. So, walking out onto Wimbledon Centre Court, it's a childhood dream for Liam Brody, but ousting fourth seed Casper Ruud in five sets, got to be the icing on the cake. So, just give you a sense of where they sit relatively. Uh, Liam, 142nd in the world. Uh, this victory is his biggest and the biggest shock of the tournament as well. What a day for him. Have a look. Well, you can imagine how proud his parents are and his family. Well, yeah, brilliant day. Liam's sister, British tennis player Naomi Brody, is with us. Naomi, how are you doing? You must be so chuffed. I am. It, it was amazing, wasn't it? it um, the, the feeling on centre court as well, when when uh, the crowd goes mental all at the same time. You know, the huge cheers. It, it, it's you just get chills. It, it's amazing. Um, Big sister uh, to Liam, what were your words of advice or what is it like watching your little brother? Um, I think he handled the occasion so well, actually. I've played on centre court myself and I'll always, it, it, it's incredibly overwhelming. I think he described it as... Lovely to hear from you this morning. I want you to give us a bit of insight. So there you are in the box. Your brother is playing on centre court, the match of his life. Tell me about the commu what communication is going on between you on the on court, what's happening? Liam would have dropped his momentum, especially at the start of the fifth set. The first three games were extremely tight. They were so important. So had he just backed off a little bit, Casper would have been right back in it. So it was that, that that's all we were really just shouting at him to keep doing. But um, yeah, he, he said he said it was such a big court he couldn't really hear as much anyway. Well, I'm always intrigued by this the, the sort of dialogue between box family, the coaches, and whatever. Some people. You know, Ivan Lendl at the further end of the game is completely stoic, isn't he? There's, there's nothing. And Andy Murray's playing. Yeah. But do you feel like you need... What do you need to do? Do you kind of re try to read your brother and see what he needs from you? Yeah, I, I think as, as a player myself, you can feel the situation a little bit more. And for me, it's just about managing his energy levels when he's on the court. So if he looks like he's gone a bit flat, I'll, I'll try and um, pump him up. Or if it's a, a big moment, you try and calm him down and remind him just to take one point at a time. And um, so, so for me, it's about um, the, the energy wave rather than trying to shout technical advice towards him. How's your mum, Naomi? Because apparently she doesn't watch the match. It gets too nerve wracking. <laughs> Yeah, she hates it. So she took my twins um, and walked around the grounds with them yesterday whilst he was playing, um, following the score on a phone. And I said, is it not way more nerve wracking just following the score, not being able to see what's going on? But she, she's got the twins right now. She's feeding them in the next room. So if you hear any screams, apologies, but we can't keep them upstairs because I'll wake Liam up. So Never a ah, problem, okay. never a problem. Oh, that's, he's sleeping upstairs. Inside. So he's, where, where is he? Tell us, what, what's, the, what's the domestic situation? Well, this is the house of chaos. So we, we we stayed together last year, but this year we have two new additions with the six months old twins, um, which, which just adds to it that little bit more. So Liam disrupts us in the evenings playing Nerf guns. The bullets are absolutely everywhere around the house. <laughs> um, and we disturb them in the morning with, when the babies wake up. So there, there's, I think there's seven or eight of us in the house with the babies. So it's pretty chaotic. But I think it's a nice distraction from him when he comes back to the house in the evenings as well. OK, obviously preparation is key. He's done this now. His next match is against Denis Shapov Shapovalov um, today, 11 o'clock. Um, what are your thoughts about this one? Yeah, it's it's a tough one. It's a quick turnaround for him. I was glad that he managed to get the fifth set done so quickly against Casper because he's going to need all the energy he can get. Dennis is a very good player, and whilst he's not as highly ranked as Casper, um, he suits the surface more. He, he's he's made it through, I think, to the semi-finals at Wimbledon in the past. He's a left-hander himself as well as Liam is, um, but he's very aggressive. So it's going to be interesting. Liam's not easy to play himself either, um, and I think added pressure will be on Dennis today because he's the one who should win the match on paper. Um, but he'll know Liam's tricky. He's obviously just had a huge result in the last round as well. So all this to play for and Liam can just go for it. He's got nothing to lose. And, and Naomi, last thought from you. For us who are watching on, who don't know your brother, is there a little sign 
of his body language that we can look at to know how things are on the day? What's the little things that you know that we don't know? I feel like just look at my face. I'll, I'll let you know. In the <laughs> box, my poker face is so bad. His, he on the court is quite professional and stoic, but um, just just look up to me in the box if anything's going wrong and you'll just see me as a nervous wreck or catch my mum in the grounds outside maybe as well. You'll see with her. Naomi, good luck. I hope it's another victorious day. Good luck with the twins as well. And let's hope we'll be talking tomorrow, talking about how he's on to the next round. Yes. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. Naomi Brody, thank you so much. Sister of Liam. And Liam... In theory, asleep still in the in the chaotic yeah. house, yeah. hopefully getting some good sleep. Carol's oh. got the weather for us today. Cal